Hi, everyone, and welcome to another Latinx Scholar Chat, where we talk with one of our Latinos and technology scholars. Today, I'll talk with Oscar Balvaneta. Welcome, Oscar, and thank you for joining me today. Thank you for having me on. Great, Oscar. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Oscar. I am the oldest out of four siblings and the first to go to college. I am a recipient of the 2019 Latinos in Technology Scholarship, and I graduated from San Jose State University with a mechanical engineering degree. And that was back in December 2019, so last year. Well, that is wonderful, Oscar. You know, our data shows that more than 80% of our scholars are first generation college students, just like yourself. You know, and we know that when one family member goes to college, the entire family eventually goes to college. So congratulations once again. So now that you've graduated, what are you up to now? So now I'm excited to share that I recently started a full-time position at KLA, working as a product engineer. Fantastic. That's wonderful to hear. You know, this whole, the whole objective of our Latinx scholarship program is to get more Latinos in the high-tech industry, and you're, you're a living example of that. So, you know, KLA also has been one of our outstanding partners and supporters of the foundation. So how did you come about uh, with this job? How did that happen? So it was pretty interesting, I'd like to say. Back in 2018, I found KLA at a job fair in our university. And through that, through that quick interview, I was able to land an internship for 2019. That internship allowed me to get the experience and introductions to build my network, which then was later followed with a, another full-time job interview in early 2020. However, I couldn't continue because one of the limitations of being a DACA student is traveling, and that was a requirement. But I didn't give up. I kept applying, and eventually now I'm brought on board and got a full-time position. Great. That's fantastic. You know, persistency is the name of the game. You know, all you need is that one yes answer. So now what's next for you, Oscar? So... I definitely see myself at KLA because it's such a great and welcoming environment, especially for someone who's just starting off their career. The culture is very welcoming. Everyone is geared for growth. And I, I believe that KLA invests in its employees and people like Efren Lopez, they're paving the way for a future where Latino engineers could really succeed. I actually have a question for you. Great, go ahead, shoot away. I'm interested in hearing what is the most important risk you took and why? Oh, wow. Um, you know, when you get to my age, sir, you've taken a lot of risk and, and I'm glad that I've survived most of them. I would say probably um, pursuing a career in, in uh, public office. You know, um, there, when I first ran for my first public office, which was the Sunnyvale City Council in uh, early, I would say late 1970s, there had never been a Latino elected to that city council. And so I decided to put myself out there. I campaigned, uh, you know, very, very hard and won that election. I then won an election to be a county supervisor here in Santa Clara County and then mayor of San Jose, our nation's 10th largest city when I was mayor from 1999 to 2006. So I would say that was probably the riskiest uh, things that I did because it, there was there was no, the, pale, uh, the trail hadn't been paved. And um, I'm glad that uh, I did pave that trail for others to follow. That's awesome. Congrats on that. And you know, thank you for the advice. My pleasure. My pleasure. So now let me ask you, if you had a chance uh, to stand in front of a classroom full of seventh and eighth graders curious about pursuing a career in STEM, what would you say to them? Don't ever doubt your capabilities. As cheesy as it may be and as repetitive as it may sound, you can accomplish anything you set your mind to. Um, being a first generation graduate, I've been there, I've sat in that seat and you just take it one step at a time. That's great, that's great advice. And, uh, you know, given by someone who's, who's paved his own trail. So thank you for doing that. Thank you so much, Oscar, for your time today. You know, Oscar is just one of 399 Latinos and technology scholars that we're currently supporting. And if you have any questions you would like me to ask a scholar in the future interview, please leave a comment below. In the meantime, thank you and see you next time.